My God. It's, you know, if you're getting into flight sim stuff and you really want to do the VR thing, then stick around because um, if you have a quest, then you probably want to have additional batteries because the quest sucks. Uh, the battery's terrible. It's tragic. It's tragic. What's going on? What's going strong? What's going wrong? It is I. It's the chef boy. Cooking up another one. This one is in another reality, the virtual one. I, uh, because of Tech Man Jew, I decided that I was gonna pick up uh, a meta quest. I'm lying, I didn't pick it up because of him, but because of him, I started wanting to play the thing. Cause you know, I was a casual for a while, but now uh, between next level racing in a uh, subtle Corsa and uh, next level racing flight and uh, this thing, ah, look at this thing, it's amazing, my God. I'm gonna talk about that later in another video. In fact, let me get this out the way. Yeah, this, it feels good. Oh my God, look at it. <laughs> I do have rudders, so don't worry about it. But anyway, um, I figured it makes sense for me to get into flight stuff the right way. Now I wanna fly a jet fighter, so uh, Meta Quest 3 it is. I picked up three different, what is that? I picked up three different headset, like, okay. The straps are tragic. Like for the Meta Quest 3 and the Meta Quest 2, tragic. Hate them things. And I hate them because they're so uncomfortable and they like, they hold on your head the wrong way. It's just weird. I don't like it. So I picked up some extra battery things, you know, the headsets that have the batteries alongside headsets that just feel better. I got this um, Binbok VR, this MQ2000, which is currently strapped onto the MetaQuest 2, and this, I don't remember which one it is. Oh yeah, the Bobo VR. Okay, each of these has uh, some very specific and fun features to them. I want to break them down. I'm going to first tell you what they are and tell you which ones I'm going to keep because I'm going to keep two of the three because one of them's going on the MetaQuest 2, the other one's going on the MetaQuest 3. I want to start with the Binbok. So the Binbok, I'm going to be honest with you, the whole reason why I got it was because that seems cool. Literally, that's it. Like, literally, I have it on my head. And then while I'm playing, I take one off, put it on the charger. Mind you, this is not connected to anything. It just recognizes it's on the charger and then put it right in. Then when I need to, I take it off, put it on. And you can do that obviously in VR without actually being able to see anything. Number two, the MQ2000. This one's real cool because it comes with this, it's literally, this is everything. Right here, this is everything. So it doesn't have like a charging base. It does have a charging base, but it's not anywhere near as big as the Binbok. Binbok, I love that. Uh, it's got these two batteries. The size of the battery is 7,500 milliamp hours. So you've got effectively 15,000 milliamp hours because you're gonna hot swap. It's technically not hot swapping because remember that the, the Quest 2 and 3 have internal battery. So take this thing, shove it in. And now after you've connected the Meta Quest to the headset itself, well, the strap, the, the strap itself. Now you've got power going in and it's charging and it'll tell you what the charge level is. Right now, this is the wrong battery to put in here, but you get the point. You take it out very easily and it's kind of the same thing as the Binbok. It's actually, oh, oh yeah, by the way, the retention strap is literally just a knob and it has a top strap as well. So I can loosen the top strap and if I don't wanna use the top strap, I can just put it right on the front one other thing that I, we, I, I have to mention this, you can bend this thing up, right? So now instead of me needing to put it on like this, you know, from the back to the front, I, I, I've done it like that because the straps were stupid. I can put it onto my face. So it's on, I'll pull this down. Actually, I should release this a little bit more and then I'll tighten it up. I don't even need the top strap to be 100% honest with you. So I'll just kind of like set it down there and I don't feel like that's coming off of my head at all. It actually feels really, really good and if I wanted to add that strap, I could. Now, if I get annoyed with it being there, I can quickly, while playing the game, just readjust and I'm done. It feels good and taking it off is a breeze as well. Look at that, still on my face, take it off completely. That's the uh, MQ2000. 
none of these come with this stand, by the way. This is just a regular like stand on, um, what do you call that? Amazon. Tighten this thing back down because I kind of want it out of the way. <laughs> And then we've got this one, which is attached to the uh, MetaQuest 3. This is the Bobo VR S3, okay? Mind you, I did no research on this. I went online on Amazon. I looked for the coolest form factors. And this one is a really cool form factor that features one really, really interesting, unique feature. So first things first, it's got that rear retention strap. It has a front strap as well, but it's not really a strap. It kind of just like holds onto your head a little bit. So same situation as before. Look at, look at how cool this stack looks, right? Put it on my face and then I pull the whole thing down, right? Once it's down, retain the head right there. I can remove these if I want to, but because of the way it's set up, I don't actually have to, right? Tighten it down a little bit more and I don't feel like I'm gonna get a headache from this, but there's one really unique feature. where to it go? Right here. So here's the battery. I can't see anything right now, <laughs> but here's the battery. The battery, I believe, goes on like so. I think it's upside down. Bam. Did you hear that beep? Okay. I can fish. oh wow, well accidentally I, I turned on the <laughs> MetaQuest as well. But one of the coolest things about this, this button on the side, I don't know if you can hear it. Do you hear it? It's a fan. It's a built-in air conditioner! So, so, by the way, I get hot very easily. Look at the sweat, it's the passion! The passion. So, I take my passion, put that back on my head, right? Uh, where's my bobo? Where's my bobo? Okay, is this the right side? Nope, flip it around, bam. Find it on the side, press and hold, Oh, that feels so good. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's just, that's the sound of the air conditioner and I can control it. I feel like you can hear that, right? Can, can you hear that? If you can't hear it, let me just, it's at 100% right now. So yes, it's not quiet, but I don't care. It feels really good on my head. All right, so let me just pull this off. Yes, you do need the battery in order for this to work. And the one that I got came with one battery. Right? So obviously, and it's $31 to get an additional battery. So now prices, I hate to do this to my editor. I'm gonna put the prices on the screen. Bam! Look at the prices on the screen. These are the prices. Now, what you get with each of these, except for the Bobo VR is two batteries. Meaning if I take a look at this, I don't remember what it was. This is 8,000 milliamp hours, so that's 16,000 milliamp hours, 15,000 milliamp hours. And if you get the second battery for this one, then you're getting, wow, this one's 48, so it's under 10,000 milliamp hours, which basically means you'll get plus or minus two hours on this, plus or minus an additional four or so, plus, a minus, plus or minus an additional four on here. So, which one am I, which ones am I gonna keep? Which ones do I suggest you keep? Well, I'm gonna first of all say I don't like this one at all. The only benefit that I find to this particular design is how fun it is to put that on the back of your head. That's it, that's it. And by the way, each of these do allow for the weight to transfer away from the front of your face over to the back. But then we come to this, right? This strap is annoying. It's just, like for me, it's annoying. I, I don't think it's, the, it's the, the best design in the world. Granted, if this was the only thing on the market, if these two didn't exist and this was my only option, I think I'd be happy to have it. I think my, my, my gripe with the Binbok is it doesn't feel like something that's so much better than the original strap. It doesn't feel like so much better. In fact, much of the original strap is retained in the way that this works. So it doesn't feel good. It just, it just doesn't. I mean, it's got a lot more cushion and it has an, a, an external battery. But aside from that, no. By the way, for anyone that's saying, you know, you're worried about batteries, but you're gonna be doing flight sim stuff. Yeah, I know. You gotta understand, I don't wanna have anything plugged into my headset. Plus, I also want when the thing dies for me to just stop playing. That's the only thing that'll stop me from playing, truly. 
Truly. It's the only thing that'll stop me from playing. So, by the way, uh, one other thing I forgot. The uh, Bobo VR V3, or version 3, it does not have, what is it? Oh, this is not convertible. And what I mean by convertible is, oh, by the way, you can tell I was playing with it. Don't ask. Just just don't ask, okay? I actually put some miles on these, all right? So, not flight miles. I just got that. I just got this. It's a tool. It's a man. I can't wait to show you what it's like to play with. But anyway, um, this, you have to purchase it for the MetaQuest 3 or for the MetaQuest 2. You do not get to convert them. But with a simple, slight conversion of sorts, you can convert this Binbok VR to either MetaQuest 3 or MetaQuest 2, and that just comes with the one that I got. This one as well, same thing, you can just convert it to MetaQuest 2 or MetaQuest 3. For me, I converted this to MetaQuest 2. And that's why I'm keeping this one, because it'll work with my MetaQuest 2, number one, if I ever needed to use it, Number two, if I ever want to play something with somebody else. And number three, if I ever want to play something with somebody else. Uh, I love how small form, uh, a form factor it is when you're talking about the uh, charging case. This can literally just plug in anywhere. Literally, I'll put this right here and I can put it right next to it and charge both of the batteries. And we're done. So I've decided to keep them. But the one that I like the most and the reason why I have it on the MetaQuest 3 is this one. And yes... The gimmicky feature of the fan, which obviously pulls some power away from the battery, has me wanting this. Now, this doesn't even have a charging base. I mean, I believe you can purchase a charging base. I don't want to. I'm just going to plug it in here. That's it. I'm going to buy two more batteries at $60. So that's well over $100 for this thing, just so that I can put this on my face. And I can cool my face. This might actually make me want to use the this the productivity features, you know, like home or whatever. All right. With all that being said, I am going to be returning the Binbok VR because I just don't, it doesn't make sense for my personal usage. I'm keeping these two. They just make sense. Very comfortable. And of course, the winner of the three so far is the Bobo VR V3. I'm the chef boy. You just got the recipe.